Hi, my name is Heidi Radel Rivera. I am a medical oncologist who uh, focus in neuroendocrine tumors. Um, and what has been the developments or the newest developments in the last few years in the management of neuroendocrine tumors? Um, I have to say that one of the things that we're seeing upcoming is about the alpha PRRT or alpha peptide receptor radionuclide therapy. Um, and that has been something that has been evolving. Uh, moreover, I think that now we have more treatment options that we used to have more than 10 or 20 years ago, and this is an exciting time. I think we're learning also about uh, what therapies we need to implement in different type of neuroendocrine tumors. That say, as I said earlier, the alpha PRT is one of the uh, newest treatments uh, and uh, is uh, it can also uh, supposed to be less collateral damage to the um, uh, in the treatment of neuroendocrine tumors. Um, I think that's something that I'm excited to look what the data is going to look like. Based, uh, the phase one studies did show very, very exciting data. And I think that's something that I'm looking forward to learn more and to also, uh, also indicate what patients may benefit from this treatment. Um, um, one other thing that I think is exciting is about the um, MGMT as a predicted biomarker uh, for um, uh, uh, pancreas neuroendocrine tumors and in patients that are getting kepcitabine tamazolamide. Dr. Pan Kuntz uh, discussed that during the ASCO GI as well as last year ASCO GI and also she published that data of uh, MGMT deficiency and the relationship with response rate. And I think that's something that we need to look forward to uh, and also determine which patients uh, with pancreas neuroendocrine tumors may benefit from uh, kepcitabine tamazolamide. That say, I don't think is really widely recommended by something that we need to look forward to. Um, and I think that the field is evolving quite rapidly. Now we have combination with the PRT with 177 lutetium dotted day and DNA repair inhibitors to potentiate the efficacy of 177 lutetium dotted day. I think that's also very exciting to learn. Uh, we know that 177 lutetium dotted day works for neuroendocrine tumors, and I think that uh, also understanding, you know, if we can enhance the efficacy, that's something very exciting as an ongoing clinical trials. The other study that is up, upcoming, that's the, uh, uh, peer, uh, the treatment retreat, uh, of uh, retreatment with 177 lutetium for those patients that have responded pre pri prior to this agent. And I think that's an, a study that's up and coming and I will be excited to see the results. And lastly, I wanted to mention that we have the first study in the adjuvant setting uh, with capsidavin and temozolamide in patients that were the neuroendocrine tumors, the pancreas neuroendocrine tumor was resected, but it has high risk features. I think that will be something that we're going to learn about that. It's a very, it's an evolving field and I'm very excited to see what is coming in the next upcoming years.